Campar just arrived and uh, JT's Outdoor Fabrics have come through for me once again. Um, got this stuff here in one day. Uh, I now have the connectors that I need uh, to set up the frame of the tent and uh, one of these is actually going to be cut and welded to make a custom piece um, that will support the uh, middle two legs and um, I'm going to get that done today right after work so I will finally be able to set up the tent and I can measure for the stove jack and then complete the project. I am super excited. I am aiming to finish this by the end of the week so that I can take it out for a test run uh, this weekend. So wish me luck. Here's the connector that I had made and this is uh, for the middle of the tent. Um, so technically this would be the ridge pole. Um, and then uh, this would just sit there. It just kind of um, slides on top. And um, then there's two uh, 7 8 inch pieces so that the um, legs can stick in there and give it center support. Now, um, what I knew was going to happen because uh, the 3 quarter pole goes into the 7 8 inch pole and the 7 8 inch pole, well all of the poles are 6 feet, um, this one uh, is only going to go, this is about 3 feet uh, something. Uh, so it's not actually in the center of the tent. Now to make that happen I would have to cut a little bit off of this pole um, so that this could this this pole could come out farther and this the telescopic would be down now be down here and then that would center this more now for today I'm not going to worry about that um, but probably maybe tomorrow or the next day what I'll do is I will take this piece here and uh, maybe cut a foot off of it and then um, this will be more centered all right, well, it's just about three o'clock on Wednesday and um, I am at my backyard. I have got the tent out here and all the poles and uh, I'm gonna put the video on record and I'm gonna see if I can set this thing up. I'm super excited, I'm scared, I'm nervous, I'm a whole bunch of stuff. Um, so, uh, wish me luck, I hope it works. <laughs> Alright, so my plan is to set it up like I did, put the canvas over it, and then raise each uh, telescopic pole to the proper height, because otherwise I won't be able to reach it, so I'm going to do that.
Uh, of course, as I was recording, my phone ran out of storage. Um, I raised the front two legs. They're actually all the way out to the 10 feet mark. And the other ones are halfway there, so I'm going to move the other ones to the 10 feet mark and then adjust everything. Looks really cool. Well, here's the first sneak preview of my tent. It looks amazing. I am so happy with it. Um, I'll show you the outside first. And then I will show you the inside. As I mentioned, it still needs things. Um, I have to put the green on the bottom here. And I had to put the zipper in. I didn't want to do any of that uh, until this was closed. This is actually just pinned shut right now because I need to measure to put the stove jack in here. And uh, it's much easier to get in with the sewing machine directly than going through all this material. So that's the reason that I had to set it up today. All right, let's take a look inside this baby. I just put some bricks down. The wind is actually picking up. It's supposed to start snowing soon, so I really need to hurry, but I'm just like in awe right now and I just can't do anything. My little windows are so cute. All right, so. First of all, I have to make sure this is right. Okay, so here's the inside. <laughs> Quite a bit bigger than my other tent. There's the one window. There's the triangle window, another window, and then the two so you can peek out the front door. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic. I absolutely love it. I love it. Okay, I have got to measure the stove jack and uh, do what I need to do so I can finish this up. See, as you see here, like this should be right on the, the corner there so that that pole can go out a little bit. Um, unfortunately, I can't really reach it. I did bring a ladder out, but um, that can all be adjusted perfectly when I go to set it up to use it. Uh, right now, my main goal was just to see A, if it would work, which it did. I can't believe how easy I set it up. And B, I need to measure for the stove jack and get that done so that I can uh, get this taken down and then I can finish everything. Uh, the stove jack is going around here. Um, that's why this seam is actually open. I just pinned it shut to, to take a better look at it. Um, and that way I can just go in this way right here, put the stove jack in, and then I can close all this up. I still need to do a French seam on this seam, and then I can put the zipper in, put the green stuff at the bottom, and then the tent is done. <laughs> so pretty exciting. Um, the size of it is just amazing. I thought it was going to be so low here um where it went down but it's not like there's usable space everywhere you can walk around it's just i am so so happy with this all right so i've got the stove set up there um i actually considered putting the pipe straight up through the ceiling like through the roof um but i think then there's a bigger chance of the sparks landing on the tent whereas this way uh the pipe is going to go out the side I've just put it a little bit away from the door because this will be like a nice place to sit um, and cook here on top of the stove or to get warm or to hang out. And then this area over here can be used for sleeping. So um, I'm so excited still. Uh, I'm gonna put up the template and pin that to it. And uh, then I'm going to do something else that I need to do that I am excited to do. And um, then I will have to take it down and bring it back in and finish it. Okay, so I just put the template up where the hole is. Um, it actually just holds it by itself. I'm gonna grab my pins now and just pin that all 
uh, pin the template to the um, <laughs> to the canvas so I know exactly where to put the stove jack. All right, well, I did my best to pin the paper. I don't know how I did it last time, um, but I could only get the pin through this side, and then when I tried to pull it back the other way, it wouldn't work. So what I did was I made an outline with some painter's tape, um, and then I actually taped the paper right to the canvas. So um, there's a nice outline there. It should be fairly easy for me to um, attach the stove jack and make sure it's in the right place, and uh, I'm good to go. So I have one more thing left to do, and that is the placement of this. And thanks to Kathy at CMV Vinyl, who does all my screening and uh, runs my uh, Love the Backcountry clothing line. She made this for me. And it wouldn't be a Camper Christina tent without a Camper Christina logo. So I'm going to find the nice place for this and uh, pin it on. And then I need to take this down and get inside. All right, I just trimmed the uh, piece of material that the logo was on because it was crooked and it was just throwing my eye off. But I think that's about right. I just got it right below the window and uh, it's going to sit just above the line where the plastic coated canvas is. Um, so I might still move it a little bit just to make it uh, totally parallel with that and just drop it down a little bit lower. But I think that is that. All right, the tent is back in the house. Uh, most of the snow has melted off, which is nice. And um, I'm getting warm. <laughs> um, you know, you're out there, I had to use my bare hands. I'm doing like using pins and stuff, so. Um, you know, got a little chilly just standing around taking lots and lots of pictures. Um, but now I am ready to get down to business. Um, I am going to take off the paper template and I'm going to replace it with my stove jack. And um, I'm going to get to sewing this thing in. All right, well, I have got, oh dear, I spilled a bunch of pens. <laughs> I'm going to need them anyway, so I might as well just leave them out. All right, so got my paper pattern on here, and I'm going to take it off because I don't really need it. I've outlined it. I also drew a tiny bit of a, just on the top of the pipe, I put a little mark with the Sharpie right here. Um, that's all going to come out, so it doesn't matter if I write on it, but um, I just put a little mark there just so I knew. Okay, so... Doesn't really matter which way I put this because <clears throat> it's pretty much square, well, squarish. It's very hard to get a stove jack um, exactly the right shape, and um, it's just this material is just so hard to work with. So, um, all right, uh, looks pretty good. Hopefully, it's straight, but. I mean, you can pull the tent one way or another way, and then the wall's gonna sit different, so. Um, I'm not gonna really worry about that stuff too much. I spent a lot of time making these lines. This line and this line are good. This line and this line are good. So, I'm gonna pin it on. I don't think I pinned it to, oh, there's a loose pin there. I don't think I pinned it to anything. <laughs> so that's good. So, I will take this off and I'm ready to sew this in. I'm really excited to be at this stage because um, I like doing projects like this, but I also, I get bored with them after a while and I'm like, okay, I want it to be done now so I can move on, but it's not. So hopefully it will be done very soon. As long as my sewing machine cooperates, it's been... It's been good and bad. It was really, really good yesterday, but the day before, I was ready to throw it out the window. So, <laughs> um, anyways, I'm gonna go sew this. See you in a bit. All right, sewing machine, treat me good. The 
Okay, so I've just gone around with the ruler and um, this is the width um, of the border around the stove jack and then I've just done it another ruler width. Um, so then what I'm gonna do is cut this out and then I'm gonna fold this underneath that. So it actually should be a little bit smaller but I'm not a very good cutter and I would rather have to cut some away than to not have enough. So I'm gonna cut it out. sides and then I will show you what it looks like and then I'm going to take it and sew it. All right I have got all the pins in and I've got it all folded over really nicely. It looks really nice. I'm going to get it at the sewing machine and um, make this a permanent thing. Well, now that the stove jack is in, I can go ahead and finish attaching uh, the door, the front door to the, the one side wall that was left. Um, I did sew some of this this morning. This is the piece that I started and uh, I just went down about three or four feet. Um, so I'm going to finish that off and then I'm going to flip it inside out and do the French seam and then the doors will be in and then I just have to do the zipper and add the green to the bottom of the doors and I think that's about it. Here is what I'm doing with the connectors. Um, because they're 7 8 inch, um, this is the 3 quarter size tube. Now this tube obviously fits into the uh, connector, but it's very big and loose and um, the connectors do come with these tiny itty bitty little screws. But I mean, to fiddle with these out in the snow and this, it's just a pain. So what I did was I took an extra piece of uh, the tube that I have that's 7 8 inch and I cut it up into little bits and I have inserted them into the connector permanently with the screws. I don't want to say permanently, I could take them out if I need to, but they're just in really tightly with the screws and now the three-quarter pipe or tube fits in there nice and snug. And now I don't have to worry about uh, it being loose and having to mess around with little screws in the, in the cold and that kind of stuff and losing them in the snow. Um, it fits very nicely in here and uh, that'll hold. I don't need to tighten it or anything like that. It's very secure. So uh, this should be, uh, this should make it even easier to set up the new tent. All right, I am back at work on the tent. Um, I matched up each of the sides and then uh, cut it and I've pinned the plastic coated canvas on it. It's actually up, which is why it looks so high. Um, but this is, it goes down. Um, so I am going to Add all that on, sew it, French seam it, and then uh, I don't have much left to do after that. All right, I have the plastic coated canvas uh, at the bottom of the door. I'm super happy. And uh, now it's time to put in the zipper, and the zipper is really the last main big thing that I have left to do. Um, after that, I just have to uh, sew my logo in, and I gotta make a couple of window covers, and uh, I have to put some like um, like Velcro ties inside just to like, so I can attach the, um, the tent to the poles. But um, other than that, it's pretty much done. All right, from setting up the tent yesterday, I know that this does not go 
um, all the way up and that some of this stays on the ground, which is how I made it. Um, I don't want to have this zipper way down to the end and in the snow. I'd rather have it um, up top to give me some more uh, headroom and stuff to get in and out. So um, I'm not going to put it right down to the very bottom. I've started it uh, about a third of the way um, because I know that the tent goes to at least about here, maybe to here. So that way I can make sure I can close that gap, but I don't have to waste the zipper on this part when I know this is going to be laying in the snow. So what I did was I put the zipper face down, right sides together, and I just pinned along the very edge. So when you flip it over, that's what it'll look like. So I'm going to sew that in, and then I'm going to do the other side. Hopefully my sewing machine cooperates. I've sewed in the uh, one side of the zipper and now I just have to sew in the other side. All right, the zipper is in. Looks pretty good. I'm not sure. I think maybe I should give it a little uh, press with the iron just to flatten it out. Looks like it might get caught. Um, I'm sure it'll be okay. It'll probably stretch out once I put it up on the frame. Um, for the other tent, I made a zipper fly to cover the zipper and keep it from getting wet and snow on it and stuff. But uh, I don't think I'm gonna do that for this tent. I don't really think that there should be an issue with that. Um, so I'm gonna see, see how it goes. All right, here's one of the windows and um, I put some, uh, a strip of Velcro and three little strips on the bottom when I uh, originally put it in. So just made a covering uh, with some green material that I had bought actually for the last tent that I never really used. Um, so yeah, just put that on there with the Velcro. And then attach the bottoms. And that's it. Very basic, it's nothing fancy. Just in case you need to cover the windows for any reason. There's a covering, so. Just have to make uh, one for the triangle window and one for the other rectangular window. Um, and then all my little little bonusy things are done too. All right, here's the second window cover. Um, it's almost 11, I'm gonna call it a night. I have to do the triangle one, but the triangle one um, doesn't have the Velcro up on the top. Uh, I ran out of the softer Velcro and I tried to use the other Velcro and totally messed everything up and I had to pull it all out. So um, I will save that maybe for tomorrow or maybe even for after the weekend. And um, I'm really happy with the progress that I made. When I purchased my house last year, I uh, bought this um, like a screened in gazebo. Uh, it was really cheap. It was $99 from Canadian Tire. And uh, I read a lot of reviews on it, said that it wasn't very strong and blah, blah, blah. Anyways, it held up for two summers, so I'm quite proud of it for the the uh, price that I paid for it. It was great. It protected me from a lot of bug bites, um, but it's pretty much trash now. So I thought I would save it just in case I needed the material for something. Um, inside is these lovely, this lovely double-sided Velcro stuff. It's fantastic, and um, they're already made. And I thought, well, I can just sew these into the tent at the seams, and then this will hold the pole uh, and the tent together to become one. So super easy. I can just like zip, 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 put the Velcro on, and uh, it doesn't take any time at all. So I cut out all of them, <laughs> and uh, I'm going to start sewing them into the tent. All right, well, I just uh, added the first piece of double-sided velcro. It's actually not double-sided velcro. It's just uh, a piece a piece of rough velcro and a piece of soft velcro and they're attached together but I mean they're already attached so it's perfect and uh, they will fit the poles. So it's a win-win. It's already made. I'm going to put a couple on the ridge line 
and uh, I'm gonna put a few on the um, the poles going down. All right, so I've attached four of these on the ridge line. Uh, there's one at either end, and then one um, halfway between the halfway point to the middle, just because I know that there's poles in the middle. Um, and now I'm going to do uh, the ones on the ends. And uh, what I'm probably going to do is just, when the tent is up, maybe mark it for the middle ones. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to do them for the middle ones, just because uh, they might move around a bit and they're not always going to be in the same spot. So um, I'll have to think about that one, but I'm just going to do at least the ends right now. All right, I finally got the Velcro on the top of the triangle window. Um, I hadn't had these two pieces and this piece on because uh, the Velcro that I had was extra Velcro. It wasn't the stuff I initially bought and um, it was really, really harsh on my sewing machine so it wouldn't sew it. So I had to get some uh, more of the Velcro that I had before. So I have that and um, I have just uh, done the window covering. Um, it's not super fancy or anything. It's just a, a piece of broadcloth that I had, um, same as the other two windows. And uh, I put the matching Velcro on there. So I can just close that up pretty easily. Maybe I can do it with one hand even. Let's see. <laughs> there we go. just because it's a triangle, right? I, I had to do a couple of different spots so that it would stay. Okay, so there is the window covering for the back triangle window. And the only ones I have left are the front triangle windows. Um, it's 9.30, I kind of want to be done, but I really do want to close the windows at the same time. So um, I'm gonna take a look and uh, uh, maybe I'll make some, I, I don't know. All right, well, my tent is finally done done. Um, technically, I still have to put some Velcro in for the two front triangle windows, but uh, I just sewed uh, two little squares just to pin them on for now um, because I'm just toast. I don't feel good. I was up really late every night this week working on the tent, and uh, I'm leaving tomorrow morning for Muse, so... It is done and now I am <laughs> working on the task that I was curious about this whole time, folding up the tent and seeing how big it's going to be folded up <laughs> and how exactly to do that. So I think I have it in a nice rectangle shape now. Uh, what I did was I pulled out the triangle corners and then folded them uh, over in half and did the same on the other side. And uh, I'm just gonna keep folding it. Hopefully I can get it down to a decent size. All right, so far so good. <laughs> Not sure if I should roll it or fold it at this point. Um, I think I'll just fold it. All right, there it is. There's the tent all folded up. Not too bad. Um, it's probably about three feet and Two and a half feet to three feet by maybe one foot and a little bit. Well, the tent is all folded up and packed up. I actually got it in uh, one of these bins that I use uh, to carry the other one. It's just a little bit sticking out, so that's not too bad at all. Um, I'm really happy that I got it down to that size. Uh, I'm going to go stick it in the car and uh, I'm heading to bed. And uh, tomorrow morning I will take it out and see how it does.